you guys, ever since that fucking iOS 11 update, my phone has been acting crazy. Like, my GPS just won't fucking work. And for someone who is incredibly anxious driving, that's not, that shit's not okay. So, I still don't know my way home from Kendall's house, and I put my GPS on, and it took me to fucking East Independence, and had me get off on exit 200 something, which I am not familiar with. And I had to pull over, and my throat started to close up, and I literally almost had a full-blown panic attack. And a woman at work was saying her husband's phone since iOS 11 came out. All of his notifications don't work. His phone doesn't ring when someone calls him, etc., etc. And it's just like, why do you release a fucking update that's not ready? Like, I can't have that. I can't. I can't have that. I didn't know where the fuck I was. I, I Like, it would have taken me hours to get home. And it sucks because being anxious, you don't have a fucking choice. Like, I felt kind of okay. I was like, all right, I'm a little lost, but I'll figure it out. But then my throat just started to get dry and feel like it was closing up. And I was like good that'll help and I literally had to just tell myself not now you're not doing this right now you can do it later but you're not doing it now we're not doing this I was driving towards uptown which is not that is the opposite direction and I get anxious anyway when I'm driving and I see the skyline because I know I'm like way out of my comfort zone east independence is just like super high speed clusterfuck and I saw that skyline and my body was just like nope nope no, it was like, we're not doing this. You're not going there. No, nope. It did this after the Kesha concert too. Like it took, it, it rerouted me. Like it, it, my GPS acts like crazy. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't work. Like it just, it literally just doesn't work. It just reroutes over and over and takes me in circles. And I was so scared. Like I about lost my shit, but I just pulled over. I just pulled over and I told myself, I was like, you're going to just close out your GPS. You're going to start it over you're gonna get home you're not gonna die but it literally felt like I like my anxiety was just like you're never gonna get home but you're gonna die here no one will ever find you your phone's gonna die because it was on like 20 percent and I just wish iOS 11 wasn't some bullshit it's bullshit like it doesn't work it's giving everyone problems and I'm like why do you do this like why 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 switching gears uh American Horror Story this season if you watch it It is the best season yet. I have not been able to say that Murder House was my end-all be-all American Horror Story experience. I love Murder House. I thought nothing would ever take its place. And this season is slaying my life. Like, like gasp out loud quality television. And if Ryan Murphy fucks this up, like he fucks up literally everything else he ever has made, I'm going to be so upset because he has a taste for abandoning his shows halfway through a season. And this one takes the cake it's been what six years this is season seven so six years since the last one so good also i don't fucking know who's honking at who but it better not be at me because i'm literally going five over you motherfucker i almost just got lost and i don't need it i don't need it so for the foreseeable couple miles i'm gonna drive literally right next to the truck next to me so that car can't get around either of us don't worry i have all night pretty close to home don't fucking worry about it. Oh, you want to speed up? Okay. People are such assholes when they drive. Like, do you need to be an asshole? Do you need to be a cunt? Do you need to do that? No. Where are you going that's so important? Probably because you need to put your fucking kid to bed. It's way past their goddamn bedtime. They have a small child in the car. Fucking stupid. I hate driving. I hate everything about it. If I was rich, I would hire a driver first thing. And just be driven everywhere. If I could afford it, I would fucking take an Uber because it's stressful it's people are mean you get lost and your ios 11 doesn't work the hella reason my gps didn't work is it was like make a left on east independence and i could only literally make a right and i was like um i'm gonna go home eat some leftover panera watch this is us go the fuck to sleep attempt to put some makeup on uh tomorrow gonna get over so just get the fuck out of my way just everyone just stay away from me just stay away from me i'm thinking i should just get like a baby on board sticker so people just think i have a baby in my car and maybe drive nicer to me i don't know it's just so unfun it's so unfun maybe my grandma fucked me up because when i was a kid she'd always tell me turn your just please turn your car just please turn your car my grandma would always tell me when i was a kid that driving a car uh, that a vehicle is just like a really big weapon that everyone drives down the street so I think I just view vehicles as like weapons of mass destruction 
and I'm like, I'm not equipped to be driving one of these things. And also everyone around me should not be driving one of these things. Um, so it's just an overall terrifying experience. I think about it all the time. And I think, I think subconsciously that like really fucked me. I think she was just trying to be like, be safe, but it really fucked me up. Also, uh, <laughs> I love how over the years of having Snapchat, like I used to try and look cute and now I'm just like, have my double chin, have a zit, have it both at the same time, double thread. You can at least say that, uh, I'm very honest with my portrayal, portrayal of myself Remember a few years ago on Tumblr, people were always like, you just, you're fake and you're ashamed of yourself. Bitch, where? I literally don't give a shit. Sometimes I'm like, this is not flattering, but I mean, it doesn't stop me from posting it. Whatever. If you're fat, you're fat. That's what I don't get. Like when fat people are like, oh, I don't like having my picture taken. Like, that's what you look like. Like, you're just fat. Like, I'm just fat. I'm just fat. Okay. And if you've ever seen me in person, you know that. So, like, ain't no shame in knowing your angles. But at the same time, like, it's like, come on, guys. Like, who are we fooling here? Who are we really fucking fooling? I don't even know who watches my Snapchat. People from Tumblr. Probably guys from Tinder from, like, three years ago. Uh, probably probably people who hate me that I don't even know are on here. Um, whatever. Facebook friends. Anywho, I finally made it home. Thank you. God, because that was a horrible fucking experience driving on East Independence Boulevard. Uh, 